Yo, what's going on? And welcome back to Sekiro. Uh, last time, what did we finish up? We followed those weird ninja dudes. Oh, hey, there's a guy. <laughs> we followed those weird uh, ninja dudes on the roof and their pink smoke into that building, and we found another sculptor's idol. Um, I see this guy right here who we saved from the samurai. Oh, Oh, he's got multiple blood pellets. All right. Terror buildup. Okay, we're going to need that to fight that headless. Because I don't know how he was uh, inflicting terror on us, but he was, so... Okay, so we'll definitely be back to this guy. Oh, Jojo <laughs> Alrighty. So I don't think we have any like, excuse me. I don't think we have any like gourd seeds or anything, but we do have one item that I didn't figure out what to do with quite yet. It's not here. Oh, it's this right here. What do we do with this thing? Oh, it necessitates the uh, aid of the air. So we probably need to actually have the air before that becomes useful. We do have some raw essence of that one shopkeeper. We need to help him as quickly as possible. And we haven't really seen too many treasure carps moving on. There was like one in the memory, but other than that, I haven't seen any. So we'll have to keep our eyes out for that because I know there was that part of the mask that seems like it might be important in the future. Do you have anything? Oh, nope, you've already told me that. We also need to get enough money to start getting some of these upgrades. And does huge damage. Taking a moment to further bend the spring and build rotation. Similar to a spinning top, but with blades. I mean, it just seems better than a shuriken. But we need money for that. Right now we have, we have quite a bit of scrap iron. We just need money. So I think I don't know if I talked to that guy, but he probably doesn't have anything new at the moment. But I think what we need to do is we need to focus on getting that firecracker and the droplet from that mob guy. And there are a few... So I've been watching some people play. I haven't watched anyone past any point that I got, which has been a point of frustration a little bit because people go different paths. So like when I got to this area right here, 
I went to the right. When I started watching someone, they immediately went to the left. So I was like, can't watch you anymore until I go to the left. So guess there's that. But I did see there was one area that's just like, I'm just dumb. I was literally right there and then I didn't go that direction for some reason. Because I didn't think it led anywhere. So we'll go grab that real quick. I don't know that there's anything actually useful in that area, but it does open a door. And it's not like a door that takes us anywhere new. But it might be like nice to have that door open as a shortcut for the future. But it's down here where we fought this headless that we died to twice. And then we won't have to make this obnoxious jump every single time. We should just be able to go through the door, I believe. We also figured out that there was that little path past the headless. But it didn't appear to lead anywhere except that bell that made the game harder. I could have just been missing something, but... So it's up this way. I like went up here, and then I was like, nah. There's no reason to go over here. Because I thought I wouldn't be able to get back. But you probably can get back. You can probably just jump and then grapple to that. Or even land on that. But yeah, I'm trying not to cheat by watching people do stuff, but I don't want to miss stuff like this. Because... I don't know, it's just like a little quality of life shortcut that I missed because I'm dumb. Where did he go? Oh, I think it's up there. There's nothing else here. It looks like it's just this room. It gives us some antidote powder and then this divine grass, which I think just cures everything. And then we can open up this door. And I think that's it to this. Like, there's nothing else going on here. I don't know that we can grab that ledge so yeah i think oh geez that was really loud i think that's it it just lets us uh go through that door to get to, back to the headless instead of having to make that weird jump and then we can go from the sculptor's idol that's up over there to get to here I think that's about it. I don't... I think someone found, like, an item or something that I didn't find, but it was just, like, a normal item that I just kind of walked past. I keep wanting to press X to use, uh, use things. That is not correct. So we did see that guy had that item that stops terror buildup. So that should help us fight the headless when we actually want to fight it. But we don't even have money at the moment, so that's not really our main concern. So we cleared everything here. We just got to this area, but we probably want to explore down here because it'll take us back to that area from the beginning of the game. And the beginning of the game had that item that I was trying to figure out how to get to as well. And we cleared all of that. So I think we're just going down here. And we'll go the opposite direction of what we went before. Because we already made progress in one direction. And we do want to fight all those guys. I don't know. 
I don't think that'll be my first order of business, because I know it's going to be a tough fight. And we're going to want to get on top of those roofs and try and, like, at least get one death blow on the big samurai boss. But then we're going to be in the middle of, like, 30 people. And we went up here already, right? It was just an item, yep. We never figured out what to do with that lake down there. Although there are some spirit emblems, it looks like. Wasn't there one more area that I'm missing? I thought there was one... One further thing. Oh, I know where it is. It's right here. So if we take a left here instead. I think he just like went left, opened this door, and I was like, nope. <laughs> I didn't know that this door could be open, so I am leaving now. That's a weird snake thing. I don't like that. Apparently this door can also be open. That's new, usually they don't let you open doors in these games. Where are we? Have we seen this area before? Are there gonna be lizards that jump on me? Nope. So this seems like another underwater section. I feel like we have to get, like how do these sections combine? I don't, I'm not understanding. Maybe they don't go together at all? But this looks like oddly familiar. I feel like we've got to get like a dive ability of some sort. Unless I already have a dive. Pressing all the buttons. I don't think we can dive. Facing down, we still just jump. Yeah, I don't know what to make of this uh, water section at the moment. I'm sure there's something because both of them just kind of end as dead ends. Which is odd. And this just goes nowhere? That also seems a little bit odd. Why would we be able to get up here? It doesn't go anywhere. Can we like run up this wall or something? I have a feeling I'm just wasting my time here. This doesn't look like something you can climb. Hmm. Yeah, this entire little corner here is stumping me, but maybe we'll figure it out. Maybe it has something to do with this room over here. So we got the snake to get us back up. But that doesn't necessarily mean I want to. I want to know what's down here before I just start going. These pots are very strong. I'm not seeing any enemies immediately. There's a door there. We can make it back up, so that's not an issue. Some pellets. Okay, there's another idol right here. All right, so this is just a whole different direction. Exactly sure. Oh, I know where we are, I think. I think this is the starting area. That door that we couldn't open. Let's eavesdrop. Here. Hmm. 
飛んでるいやそれだけ戦がしたいということじゃろうだからこそこうしては置けるんだ Okay, I don't think that tells us what the samurai needs still. Yeah, this is this area, so. We might want to go up on top of that bridge first and see what's across the bridge. But now we should be able to transverse this area a little bit better, now that we have the grappling hook. And maybe we can get that item right where we started the game. Okay, sorry, we're just doing a lot of exploring at the moment. Because I want to figure out what all directions we have available to us. Can I make this jump? So we already eavesdropped here. We haven't tried to go this direction yet. But we should. Gatehouse Key, the key to a samurai gatehouse located in Ashina Reservoir, not far from the well the wolf was kept in. Here, Gyobu the demon's broken horn is respectfully guarded by Ashina Samurai. The broken horn is the spear blade once wielded by Gyobu the demon. It is said that no prey can escape Gyobu's horn. It pulls enemies in and is even capable of stripping an enemy's armor. We did hear them talking about armor falling off. Is this the gate that it opens, though? There's some items we never got over there. Or maybe they're new items? Because I feel like we went that way. Yeah, we definitely went down there. So that must all be new. So we can't just jump that. And this gate is not openable. So maybe it's somewhere over there is where this key leads to, but we should go this direction first. Can we jump on that guy? Okay. That did not go as anticipated. Hmm. I was hoping for a much better result there. This guy seems very strong. Yeah, he does not take a lot of damage. Oh, well, let's not fight him in a corner, that would be dumb. This is an interesting enemy. I really wish I had assassinated him because he is annoying as hell. Oh, what? The drag back does damage?
outside of it, you jerk. Alrighty. This man is very tough. Scrap magnetite. Magnetic ore mined in Ashina, base material commonly used in prosthetic tool upgrades of intermediate and higher rank. Forging with magnetite produces a hard steel, a precious commodity. In Ashina, bedrock offering, wait, 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 wait. a bedrock offering up to this ore is cons constantly mined out, making it rare, a rare one at that. That sentence did not want to work with me. I feel like we have a lot of pellets, but maybe we don't. We only have eight left in storage, so maybe we should slow down because I was just like popping them like crazy in that boss fight that we were stuck on for forever. Okay, let's see what's going on in here. Because I don't think that enemy was intended to be as hard as I made it. Heavy coin purse, we do like that. Is that another... Idol? Yeah, it is. Alright. And another merchant. Gokuyo. Ikagakane. Konna tokoro ni mo. Shisha ga aru tokoro. So that guy in our hub was saying that he left the mob. He's got pellets, he's got another dragon blood droplet. I don't know if this is different from the dragon blood droplet that the other mob guy had. We might have to figure that out. Mask Dragon. It appears to be decoration top. Okay, so we know where the right half is and we know where this half, or this top part is. So I assume there's at least one more part, which would be the left side, but there might also be a bottom. So there might be a four part thing. But it's quite expensive. We would like this prayer bead, if at all possible. This guy doesn't have the firecracker, so I assume they all have different, uh, wares. Now what is this way? I just kind of want to take a peek this way. It's a giant grasshopper. I can't tell if it's an enemy or not. What the heck? These guys are alive? What? Oh god. They don't die so easy. Okay. I want that item. Can you please move? Okay, he died now. Pacifying it. Okay, so this is what we need to fight the headless. I assume they'll all get up once I pick this up. No. Huh. 
That guy is just not responsive, but he also can't be attacked. Okay, this place is creepy. I'm not liking this place very much. <laughs> Although we have gotten to the point in the game, these things are supposed to distract you from this guy, obviously. I'm not stupid. A little bit. Not that stupid. We do appear to be strong enough to at least, like, combo those guys down. We're getting a lot of these pacifying agents. Oh my lord. What are these? I can only imagine they're like heads being covered up or something. This is horrifying. I don't like this place. What? Is that more grasshoppers? A note left by a dead and rotting man in the abandoned dungeon, supposedly the frag... Fra Fragrant stone is enshrined in a village in the Ashina depths, but how to interpret throw oneself? This is as far as the old Okami tomb could take me. But did they truly reach the Fountainhead Palace? I'd like to know, but it seems I never will. Kotaro, forget. You. I keep getting baited further in. I want to just leave, honestly. But every time I see an item, I'm like, I can, I can get it. I don't want to go down there. Jeez, this is, this is something. Oh my God. Why are these crickets so mad? I think, I think I'm just leaving. Alright, hold on. Every time I say I'm leaving, I find reason to maybe not be leaving. <laughs> Continue the pattern of say nothing. Can we try that again? Yeah,はりそうです。あの人を受け渡しはどうじゃ。落ち水の施術の支度を任されております。早速ですが、忍びのお方、師匠から預かった文をお渡ししましょう。Surgeon's bloody letter. A worn and bloodstained letter from Dosaku, the surgeon in the abandoned dungeon. Require one tough man, preferably a strong samurai or a young, large soldier such as a member of the Taro troop. Must be delivered unharmed. How would I go about doing that? I know that we've talked about like mercy with the sword being the embodiment of 
the shinobi code and like effectively killing but also granting mercy when it is appropriate i don't know how to determine that that's just not a fun place like we'll we'll come back here at some point i just really don't like this area hold on i think something is broken please fix Okay, I think we're good again. So what else? Uh, how much money do we have? 133, that's not enough. So does this area go anywhere else or is this it? Because we unlocked the thing that'll teleport us past this annoying guy. So I think what I would like to do, because this place is creepy and I don't like it very much. What I want to do is I want to... So this is the reservoir. I want to go find where this key goes in this reservoir. Is it still not fixed? It should be fixed. Maybe I gotta reload this. It's probably fine. I hope. Okay, so we're going this direction now. We might want to go under this bridge and fight that uh, rat dude. I don't know, the game keeps calling them rats. I wouldn't really describe them as rats. They're more like small people. So is he still there? I don't think he is. No, I don't see him, but... So, what areas have we not explored over here? So we might as well handle this area. Because it seems small and isolated. But I could be wrong about that. Because we might be able to go through that door again, which then would make this area not so isolated. But we do want to go up around that way, grab those items over there. We also want to go down there. So I noticed this idol the first time as well. It's right here. We can't use that idol. We'll save the door for a moment. Ooh. Oh my lord. We need the axe. Man, the health we get back is not a whole lot, huh? I didn't expect that guy. That guy caught me off guard. Poisoned? Yes, we are very much still poisoned. Please use an antidote power. Alright, 
so we gotta be ready. These guys appear to fight by ambushing us. Always. So whenever we're sneaking up on the straw-hatted guys, we got to make sure there's no, uh, like, round hat dudes that are trying to scare us. Balloon of spirit. Um, uh, spirit emblems, okay. That's fine, I suppose. So, let's investigate this door now. It's locked. Alright, so that is not the door that we have the key for. Where does this take us? Nowhere really useful. I assume that maybe we could do this? Yeah, there we go. So we need to go around this way. And we also gotta remember we've upgraded our stealth a few times. So we definitely wanna make use of our stealth abilities. So let's get back to the start of this area. And I think we've done everything we can here at the moment until we get a key. So. I think now we can start going this direction, but we might as well rest because we used a lot of resources for not a whole lot of benefit. Well, nothing that's going to benefit us moving forward this way. So we can just respawn those guys over there. Now, who do we want to take down? I mean, really, I'll just take anyone. We also gotta remember... Oh, jeez. Death blow will heal us. Oh, that's the axe. Whoops. I thought I had shurikens out. Hmm. Can you not walk over here? What? That was odd. I definitely was blocking. Where's this tree go? Tree seems like it might just be a fast way back when we go over there. Or it helps us go over there faster as well. So let's go straight first. Okay, we got a big boy. We're gonna want an assassination. So let's make sure it's clear first. Oh, there's another guy back there, all right. And there's guys watching up there. So maybe we do wanna come from up first. This seems like the best way to approach this. Don't allow anyone behind us. We have enough money for that dragon blood droplet now. There's something glowing under here. This must be the building we can open. Ceramic shards. Now the question is, is there anyone in this building? I know there's a hole. So 
we can look. I'm not seeing anyone. So yeah, that's the gatehouse key. Which is supposed to contain Kyobu's horn. Heavy coin purse. Okay, Yobu's broken horn. Famed horn spear once used. Ooh, we can use it on the prosthetic. Contracts to pull enemies in. Also capable of stripping crude armor. Okay, so we're going to need that for a boss coming up. Splendid shape awarding Oniwa with the cross-bladed spear of Shuzin Tamora. Okay, so we should be able to use that in the future to strip the armor off of a boss. It might be Ishin that's the boss. I don't know who they were talking about when they said the armor might just come off on its own. Who is the guy up there? Okay. We're just working our way through this, trying to not get ambushed. Also, man over here. So we do have quite a bit of money now, which is nice. We're going to need 680 to buy everything from that one guy. Must have been the wind. We'll get this guy right after the big guy turns around again. Because the executions or death blows force us to stand up. <laughs> Now we're after this first big guy. I like the stealthiness of this game. Like you can be a sword and board character if you want, or you can do this. I feel like maybe sword and board's gonna get you there faster if you're good enough. But stealthiness can get you there fairly efficiently. I mean, this is obvious if we got to choose who's dying here. What the heck? That guy did like a weird push move that I haven't seen before. Okay, so obviously, we're going to take our secret side path that we already know about. Because there seems to be a guy gu guarding the doorway. And that way we can figure out how many people are actually inside this little temple. I assume they haven't, like, boarded it up. So there is a remnant in here. Wasn't there a guy? Oh, he's down a little bit, I see. Oh. A boss, kind of. Let's check upstairs, see if there's anyone up here. Doesn't look like it. This mini boss is slightly concerning. 
主は言ったな。なすべきことをなせば。それが未だ。見出せぬ。わからぬのだ。ギュウリンは。何故私に授けられた。Alright, so before we take on this guy, he's two health bar man, we should be able to get a stealth hit on him. But before we take him on, we're gonna take a quick little pause. Hopefully, you enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next one.